And that, my friends, is how you pump gas in Maryland. So welcome to episode eight, I believe it is, of Back in Business, as you can tell. I am headed back to school. I just stopped at Wawa, and for those that don't know what Wawa is or you don't have one, you are missing out. Got my Wawa coffee. Got a Quest bar for the road. It's about a three hour drive. Today will probably definitely be three hours because guess what? It's snowing again. Got my water all set to go. Kind of trying to leave early so I can beat the snow because it's supposed to start snowing in Maryland first and then get to Jersey. So I'm trying to leave home before it starts here and get to school before it starts up there. I do have classes today, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna get there. Take our time. So let this. Let's get this day going. Also on the drive, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any training in today because it's about nine o'clock right now and I'll get to school maybe about 12, 12, 30. I've got class at two o'clock and five o'clock. So today may be a rest day, which isn't a bad idea actually. But um, because of that, since I'm not sure, I'm sipping on the Amino Recovery from Platinum Series. It's the orange mango, which is honestly my favorite. It is so good. So what you can do with their Amino Recovery is you can drink it during your workout, so it's an intra-workout on your training days. And if you're not gonna be training day, so if it's an off day, you can drink it throughout the day. So I'm going into today thinking that it's probably not going to be a training day. So I'm just preparing myself, gonna drink this on the ride. Again, it's the Amino Recovery from the Platinum Series review coming up. Don't worry, I know I've been saying that a lot, but it's, it's coming together, don't worry. I wanna test out all the products a few times before I actually tell you guys my real reviews on them rather than just once or just tell you something that I've heard from someone else. I want it to be a real reliable review. So stay tuned for that. Orange mango, so good. Gonna sip on that. Still driving, just got started, but we'll get there. We'll get there, hopefully no traffic. Fingers crossed, but uh, see you guys in the next clip. What's up guys, it's Gina with another commentary, although this one is going to be slightly different and I'll get into that in a second, but real quick, this workout was mainly focused on legs and finished up with some shoulders at the end, but really focusing on paused squats here in the hole and then halfway up and then after this I get into some box squats, which you will see at the end. It does seem that I'm kind of all over the place with like reps and weights and sets and everything like that. But I do keep track of everything that I do. I write it all down and monitor my progress. But back to the other point of this video, I'm going to be cu cutting out this commentary shortly and then you're going to see me in the corner of your screen kind of talking about the purpose of my channel and a new package that I got from Learor. So I hope you guys like this. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone, make a little bit shorter, more entertaining for you guys. And if you do like this stuff, please leave a comment below. Getting used to everything and trying to figure out what's the best and what you guys like. Definitely leave it a like if you did. Comment below on anything that you guys are interested in. Let me know. Thank you for the continued support. We're getting there to 500. I know we'll get there soon. And just hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Have a great day as always. And I'll talk to you guys later. We have a package. It's from Leo Roar. I told you guys before that they had a big launch coming up. I was talking about it on my Instagram and Twitter. So make sure you guys are following me because I'm on Instagram like 24 7 and I'm very active on that so if you want to see more stuff and be using the products that I'm talking about I do tend to take a lot of pictures of that and put them there so make sure you're following me on there at G Fitness Online but package from Learmore thank you guys for sending this out can't wait to try everything on obviously can't try it on here but I will take pictures and wear it for videos let's see what we got Got two things, joggers from Leroy, which were new, and their gray t-shirt, which I love the green on it, so that's kind of one of the main reasons I got it. Sizes, medium in joggers, and 
yeah I got a small and a t-shirt we'll see how they fit I'll let you guys know because big reason for my channel is to see fitness and everything that goes into it through the eyes of a girl so so many fitness youtubers are guys and you get supplement reviews and product reviews clothing reviews workout from guys and if you're a girl then you're like well I'm a girl, do I need to take the supplement or how is it going to affect my hormones and everything like that? Is it good for a girl to take? Should I be doing this type of exercise in the gym or when it comes to clothing? A lot of clothing lines are geared towards guys. So as a girl, what kind of sizes do I need? So that's why I'm here, I'm trying stuff out, letting you guys know so that you guys know what to get and it's all through the eyes of me through a girl so it's a little bit different, different perspective. So for joggers, I have a medium. I am 5'10 and a half, so I like to have things that are a little bit longer because I need it for my legs because of my height. So medium and joggers, and then what I've been doing lately is getting a small for shirts when they're when the sizes are geared towards guys more. So hopefully that helps someone, anyone who's watching it. If you're a girl and you're wondering what sizes you get, I'll always let you guys know so that that helps you out. Uh, as for the little Aurora clothes, obviously I can't try that on right now, but I will be wearing them in upcoming videos, taking pictures, so make sure you guys are following me on social media and you're staying up there. And also, I know I owe you guys some type of food challenge because I got a lot of, not um, hate, but comments and people asking me, oh, I really thought you were going to do the pancake challenge. So, because I didn't do that, I'm working on another challenge, so stay tuned for that. It'll be a good one, a better one for me that I can handle that's not so sugary. So stay tuned for that. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions about the banana and how that affected me. So I only had half of banana, and the rest of the day I kind of was bloated, but I think that might have been because of something else. Um, I noticed that if I don't drink a lot of water, and I drink almost two gallons of water a day. I know that might seem a lot, but I feel my best when I've had close to two gallons of water, a gallon and a half, a gallon and three quarters of water. And normally I will finish my first gallon by one o'clock, 1.30. So right now it's about, it's like 2.30 and I'm on my second gallon already and I feel awesome. But I think that day I didn't have enough water yet in my system and maybe that's just what I need and that's what I'm learning. So I will try the banana again and something else very soon and I will let you guys know. So thank you for asking about that. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the great feedback. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get the subscribers up to 500 and big things to come when that happens. So thank you guys once again. Have an awesome week. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Keep it up. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you guys later. Yay, more commentary. So in a few seconds, you're going to see my head pop up again. But this time, I'll be in your upper right-hand corner. While I was editing this, I was just having fun playing around with the picture-in-picture because picture, I haven't done that before. So I hope you guys like this, and I hope everything I just said about my channel kind of makes sense. And if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. And this is just my shoulder workout. It's pretty good to feel in the pump, but here is my face again, and enjoy the rest of the video. And normally I would never pay $3 for a protein bar, just for one bar, but desperate times call for desperate measures, because I just finished my workout. I did have my post drink from the Platinum Series, the protocol, post protocol. But I am going grocery shopping right now, so I don't know exactly how soon my post-workout meal will be. So I grabbed this bar, heard good things about it. The, oh yeah, and it's the birthday cake. I saw the online coach and Tankster tried it out. They seemed like they liked it. And they, I think they got a couple boxes of it. But what caught my eye was one gram of sugar. So obviously that's going to be perfect, being fructose intolerant. Real quick, for one bar, it's 220 calories. So you got seven fat. 24 grams of carbs, 9 fiber, 1 gram of sugar, and 21 grams of protein. And again, it's the birthday cake one. So I'm going to give this a try for you guys. Normally I would never pay $3, but 
kind of need it right now. Um, it is about 8.30, been up since 5 o'clock. I do eat a little bit before my workouts in the morning, but not a whole lot. I don't want a lot in my system, and plus it's so early. But going to give this a try on camera for you guys, so let's test it out. It smells like birthday cake. Sprinkles there. So, Alright, live taste test. That's awesome. Wow. Oh yeah. No wonder that's the name of their brand. Hmm. It's a lot softer than Quest Bar. That's what it looks like inside. Tastes like birthday cake. This is the first time I've ever had an Oh Yeah bar. So I don't know what to compare it to besides other protein bars. Looks like a Quest Bar. In my opinion, this tastes a little better. I mean, I wouldn't say better, but like softer. Is it worth $3? I don't think any protein bar is ever worth $3, but when you're running out of time and you need something quick, very good. So, I'm going to stop making a mess in my car. I'm going to finish this, head to the grocery store, and I'll take you guys with me. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's gonna about do it for the groceries. Just picking up a few things to get me through the next few weeks. If you're caught up on videos, then you know that I got a big package from P28, which is a lot of breads, pancake mixes, bagels, flatbread stuff. So good on carbs. That's why you just see certain things that I got. And I'll be going through some of those P28 products and using them in the upcoming videos. Also, I used it for my post-workout meal, one of the bagels. So. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see that, what it looks like. That's going to do it for the groceries. And now we're here. Life of a nanny. Getting to school early. Key. This is a key. Getting to school early. Almost 45 minutes early. So that when it's raining, like it is now, hopefully you can hear me over the rain. Kids that you're picking up don't have to walk in the rain. Date all the great feedback. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get the subscribers up to 500 and big things to come when that happens. And have an awesome week. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you guys later.